New since 6 o'clock, cases of COVID-19 are on the rise throughout the country and right here in the tri-states. An average of one out of five tests now come back positive according to the la latest data from the CDC. The virus has changed and evolved during the past four years. WGEM's Claire Edlin shows us how the increase is affecting all of the Illinois veterans' homes, including Quincy. Daniel and Raja, a Veterans Affairs spokesperson, says COVID-19 cases are increasing at all five Illinois veterans' homes throughout the state. Thankfully, those cases mean mild symptoms, but residents and staff are being closely monitored and tested to prevent future spread. So the current strain of COVID has been circulating all summer. Um, we have seen an increase in numbers, uh, both in um, number of positive tests as well as number of hospitalized patients in the last couple of weeks. The rise in COVID cases at Blessing Hospital and now the Illinois Veterans Home. Oh, just two, three weeks ago, I had maybe one case uh, on the property. I think we're now just shy of 20. The home's administrator, Chuck Newton, says while they're taking the usual precautions, like quarantining their infected residents and requiring staff to wear masks, this time is different. I, I think people are recovering far more quickly. The symptoms are, are far less. In fact, you may not even know that you have them. He says there is a downside to that. Which makes it that much more difficult because, uh, you know, two or three people could end up having it before you find that one who has a sniffle. Blessing health officials say this resurgence is a good time to check in on what the latest protocols are. So there is a new COVID vaccine out that is active against the latest circulating strains um, that will be available in the next couple of weeks. She says the CDC recommends everyone to get the latest vaccine especially the elderly, immunocompromised, and those with underlying health conditions. When we see patients admitted um, to the hospital with COVID these days, they're almost always patients who have other underlying diseases. So they have some degree of immunocompromised, they have some degree of heart or lung disease that makes them more vulnerable. A state spokesperson says nine residents and 12 staff members at the Illinois Veterans Home in Quincy have tested positive for COVID-19. That's why it's encouraging social distancing and face masks. Daniel. Thank you, Claire. Blessing Hospital had 22 people hospitalized with COVID in July. The same day, COVID testing is available at Blessing's drive-through clinic.